What's going on everybody? Going Youper here and I'm hanging out with my girl Lola. Just love this girl. Today's video is my opinion on live feeding videos. Really simple. Um, I think they can be very helpful. I think they can be very educational. I understand how some people would not like them. Um, it is part of the hobby or the business, owning snakes and reptiles. No matter how hard you try, these guys aren't going to eat broccoli and carrots. They just won't do it. Therefore, you have to feed them what they eat. And that's mice, rats, rabbits, and chickens even. And it's just part of the game. So when you're in this hobby and you can share these types of things with other people, it's okay to share the live feeding videos. This is my opinion. Now, you're entitled to your opinion. But if you're one of those people that don't like those videos, then I suggest don't watch them. I definitely don't watch things that upset me or that make me sad or upset or mad or anything else. I don't watch videos like that. And I suggest that you do the same. Um, and that's okay. I have no problem with that. Now, people ask me all the time, well, how come you don't do feeding videos? Well, honestly, it's just a very busy day in my house. Uh, I usually feed on Thursdays, and I usually do all my house chores and outside chores and things like that on Thursday. And it's just a really busy day for me, so I usually just don't put it on video. And plus, I feed frozen thawed. You know, it's, a, it's pretty basic. You're handing a snake, a, a, a rat or a or a uh, mouse on a pair of tongs, and that's about it. Not very entertaining, and not a whole lot to teach with that, to be totally honest with you. Um, I guess technique, but everybody has their own way. So that's why I don't do feeding videos. I am totally not against feeding videos whatsoever. I also feel that there's a lot of people out there that do feeding videos all the time, and if you want to see that stuff, you can easily go check out their channels and watch them. Um, to me, I'm just too busy. It's too busy of a day <laughs> for me to do feeding videos. Maybe one day down the road I will, but again, it just won't be as interesting as some of these other guys' videos. Everybody eats frozen thawed. It's not a whole lot of action going on. And um, I have some snakes that just take it right off the tongs and they barely even wrap it up. They just set it down and start eating it. Um, a few of my snakes don't like taking off the tongs. They just like me to set it down in front of them and I close their bin. And within an hour or so, they will eat it. It's just weird like that. I'm a hobby. My man, I'm a hobby. My big boy, he just will sit on top of it for two, three hours sometimes. And he don't want you to come take it out because I'm like, well, I don't want to leave it in there too long. And as soon as I go in there to take it out, then he grabs it and he wraps it up and he eats it because he's like, no, you're not taking my rat. For whatever reason, he likes to hoard it away. But um, So that's my opinion. Um, it's part of the life cycle, especially part of owning snakes and reptiles. They have to eat these things. It's just the way it is. And again, it's okay if you don't like those videos. I just implore you to please, if you see live feeding in the title, just don't watch that video. Just don't watch it. And that's all. It's pretty simple. I want to give you all a quick update on my hatchlings. Everybody's doing pretty good. Um, everybody's eating on their own. I had quite a few weeks of assist feeding, and that was starting to get to wear on me. I mean, I spent hours and hours doing it. And now, thankfully, everybody eats on their own. Now, I do have some sad news. Uh, the other day, I noticed, well, this one hatchling hasn't gone to the bathroom yet. And it was worrying me because he ate uh, twice. And this was about a month and a half after his second meal that he didn't pass any balls. So I did what everybody should do. If your snake hasn't gone to the bathroom and you want to help it along, stick them in some warm water. Remember, not too hot. Some warm water. And that usually helps. I usually leave them in there 15, 20 minutes or so. And that usually helps. And they pass. Well... It didn't help him, he didn't do it, so I checked on him the next night where I was going to set him in some warm water again and try it again and notice that he passed away. Now I'm not really sure what happened or what the issue was. Um, I'm thinking there might have been some digestive problems with that hatchling. These things do happen. Um, none of my snakes have ever had an RI. I'm very thankful and grateful and lucky because anybody can get a respiratory infection in their snakes. You can be the best breeder, the cleanest breeder, and these things can happen. So understand that I've just been really lucky and I'm very cautious too when I, where I get my snakes and how I hold my snakes and it's very important to quarantine your snakes. But sometimes these things do happen. Again, I'm not really sure what happened with him, but I'm going to keep a close eye on the rest of the hatchlings and make sure that everything's okay with them. Everybody else seems to be just fine, but I'm still going to keep a close eye in case, you know, maybe another one shows signs of something being wrong as well and then I will have to definitely run into a vet and get it figured out. 
So I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I hope this helped you, and please understand if you don't like live feeding videos, that's totally okay. You have that right. There's no problem with it. But again, these guys aren't vegetarians. They are meat eaters, and that's part of the game. So we have to do this, and it's very helpful when people do these feeding videos. So please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, hit the notification bell. That will let you know when I upload a video. Be the first to watch it. And as always, I love you all. See me bye.